morning guys uh, it's definitely rush hour out there um, it's almost 8 30 my suitcase is almost entirely packed just waiting on some toiletries so I can brush my teeth and dry my face cloth so I can put it in the bag and yeah I didn't buy anything here so I don't know why my suitcase won't pack the same way when I got here because I don't know what's up but let's go have a really good breakfast so that we can tackle the day. I have some stuff downloading on my computer, so hopefully it's done when I get back, and then we can load up and head out. point um, at Kosham. Kosham. Don't know how to pronounce it. Now we get to wait 35 minutes for a train to Bath. My Uber driver was super nice. He said that I should have gone to Bristol. It's a lot like Brighton and it's the next station stop after Bath. So it's relatively close but I don't think I have the money or the time to go and just up and explore Bristol. So I have to put that on the list for the next time. But yeah, there's no outlets on the train. I was hoping to edit a few videos, but I've just been reading my book that I've had on my shelf for like five years. My dad recommended it to me and I bought it and never read it. So I thought, what a perfect time. But yeah, I might have some of my apple crackers and just wait. It's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous in the UK I feel so lucky uh, a few of my friends from the UK are saying that it's like the best weather that they've had in a while which is nice so hopefully it stays like this It sounds so weird to call it that because it just seems so simple and like a bath <laughs> which is actually what they're known for the Roman baths which is on my list of things to do but um, yeah this place is like so cute um, one of the people who runs it his name's Christian he greeted me <laughs> amazing like oh my gosh just showed me literally everything wrote down a bunch of stuff for me now I just gotta figure out what order to do things in and what to see. So, I think I'm gonna pull my laptop out and just get sorted. And then he gave me a whole bunch of routes to go walk, things to do. He was like, if you like taking pictures, then you guys know I do. So, yeah, let's get ourselves sorted and we can go and adventure. guys I think my headphones are broken so I hope this works but <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna go for a walk there's a pizza and pasta place that I'm kind of feeling because my uber driver was from Italy so he was saying you know you got to go to Italy and eat pasta and I was like now I kind of want pasta but I haven't had pizza in a while so I might get pizza just gotta see what's on their menu but like I said the um tenant I guess the guy that owns the place I'm staying he told me that a lot of people walk up here and walk along the um oh, sorry I'm walking up a hill <laughs> you know what hills and stairs do to me 
So <laughs> I, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, he says that a lot of people walk along the banks. And sorry, I just saw a photo op that I need to take and uh, walk into the main center of the town. So I think I'm going to do that. And uh, yeah, show you guys some views along the way. here just walking back to the house and it says they've left like notes and stuff that it's kind of echoey so I don't want to be doing too much talking in there and being disruptive in any way so I figured I would end it out here I'm gonna figure out and plan what I'm gonna do tomorrow because I want to go into the like obviously see the baths and go into the abbey if I can because that'd be really cool so yeah I hope you guys are enjoying it we're halfway through my second last week eee! I don't like it I don't like it at all so I think bath is gorgeous I mean I say that about pretty much everywhere that we've been but this is it for today's video. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to see more. And make sure you're following all my social media, which you can find in the description box below. So, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow with a full day in bath. Bye, guys.